Sports. It's Thursday at 4 o'clock, which means it's time for the most motivational segment in all of sports, the Bud List. It's also time where we read some viewer mails. For the year 2023, we get a ton of mail, especially around the holidays. Yeah. I didn't even... <coughs> this one is sealed maybe a little too tightly. Yeah. You're having trouble with it. Hope I didn't rip the letter. <laughs> Dear Wilds, it's always addressed to me, even though we're a team. Dear Wilds, <laughs> love the show. Are you taking New Year's Day off? No. Oh, cheers, Ryan and Brian. Ryan and Brian, no. And this was something Healy gave us a note, too. Remember to try to drive the audience from Monday, because we did have Christmas off. <laughs> we're not going to have New Year's <laughs> off. Hey. We will be here from 3 to 4.30 in all Let's of our go. glory. Let's go. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> I spent 30 minutes Doing what? with the crew before show two weeks ago. <laughs> to do what? I was posing. Uh, we agreed they were going to do a new cowboy Dusty, photo. They you... wanted me to flex and all that. And, that's and what I'm you still gave. going on with this. That's a handsome photo. The real photo. photo. Bro, that's a handsome photo. Okay. It's a handsome Y'all photo. Y'all know the real photo. was waiting for them to show the adjusted photo. <laughs> Y'all does not a cast. Totally the whole crew how is how the television graphics work. All right, here we go. But list number three, Jalen Hurts, Ooh. okay? Uh, Jalen, look, a lot of reasons you guys aren't quite as good as you were last year. The defense we know is not that good, got to mm -hmm. admit it. You're not getting nearly the amount of sacks you were last year. But if we're honest, you haven't been nearly as good as you were last year either, okay? We got to accept that, all right? So your everything, everything has dropped. From last year, completion percentage down, passer rating, yards per game, touchdown passes, interceptions are up. Everything else is down except rush TDs, but, you know, those are the tush push, which I like, but still. It's not like you're, you know, running for 15-yard touchdowns. All right, now, I need you to come out here. You're the leader of the team, okay? But speeches and character and demeanor is only going to get you so far. You also have to play well. All right, so we need you to come out here. Your teammates need you. They, they need a big game from you because they need a reason to believe going into the playoffs. Jalen, I want a huge performance from you and a blowout win by your you and your teammates. I do believe in you. All right, number two, staying with the quarterbacks, Brock Purdy. Mm. Brock, <clears throat> no matter what some people say, it was one bad game. One bad game. It happens to the best of them. Mahomes, Lamar, Josh, Jalen. Like, the best quarterbacks in the league have had bad games. That was a really bad one, all right? And I know that you're a confident guy because you don't go from being Mr. Irrelevant to an MVP candidate, a leader at one point, without confidence in yourself. But I also know you're human and you're young. Okay, and I do, I hate to admit this with Nick sitting right there. Uh oh. I felt like you lost a tad bit of confidence after the third or the fourth <laughs> interception. One of them, all right? And so shake it off. It happens to everybody. You can go out there and get it done. You've proven that. All right, you don't need a huge game. If you give it to us, great, but we need a clean one. All right, Brock Purdy, I believe in you. Iowa Mafia. <laughs> All right, at number one, another quarterback, Josh Allen. Wow. First of all, Josh, it's great to see you smile. I mean, I got to be like, I was getting, your press conferences were sad. All right, like, well, most of the season, seeing you just look like the sky is falling and everything was in shambles. It has been nice to see you smile and show a little bit of your personality in these press conferences. So I'm going to give you props there, but I got to warn you. See, I'm good at reading the room. Yeah. All right, seeing what's out there. People and there has been that. a trap, a trap set for you, my man. All of a sudden, you're back in the MVP conversation. All right, everybody's praising you. Belichick's comparing you to Tom Brady. All right, you know why? I know why. It's because they want you to put on the cape. Ah. They want, I know the last three games you've won with averaging 188 yards passing. You got three total touchdown passes in your last three games and four rush touchdowns. My point is, do what you have to do to win. If it means 20 passes, so be it. If you have to put on the cape, 
So be it. But don't go out there with a pre-planned, you know, notion that I'm going to, I that's right. I am in the MVP conversation. I do have the most touchdowns in the league. Everybody loves me again. I'm Superman. No, we don't need any of that. Just go out there and do what it takes to win. Josh Allen, I believe. Excellent job. Well done. Always excellent. Well done. You know what? I, I felt like I needed to switch it up this week. So I'm adding Chris Broussard wow. to the bud list. You know yes. This Sorry. is what wow. that, that yeah, pre-show yeah, stuff man. was about. Well, <laughs> you, you and I were in the same boat. We both have picked the Eagles for our NFC Super Bowl pick. However, something was a little concerning. Last week I was off, but I still tune into the show. And I, I heard things and I saw things and it was very concerning to me. Can you take a listen? Wow. You're thinking about changing your pick if you're not ready to go the whole way. Okay. Well, first of all, gentlemen, I'm flattered. The idea of me not being right just is unfathomable to you guys it, yeah. and to the show. But I got news for you. I am sticking with the Philadelphia Eagles. Shake your heads. Why? Why? Raise Why? your eyebrows. <laughs> Boy, I'm very disappointed. Now, I'm not afraid to change my pick. You sure For some aren't. reason, you are. And I will tell you why I'm not afraid. Because I recognize this Eagles team has flaws. They're quite fraudulent, if I'm being wow. honest. And they remind me of the Minnesota Vikings from last season. We knew who this team was. They could put up points, yes, but they couldn't stop a nosebleed defensively. And they got exposed the moment they entered the postseason by the New York Giants. Now, Chris Broussard, this Eagles team, we've talked at nauseum. You just mentioned Jalen Hurts on the bud list because of all his numbers and he's going in the wrong direction, let alone the defense. However, I recognize a ship when it is sinking, and the Philadelphia ship is sinking, which is why mm -hmm. I have changed my Super Bowl pick. What? Oh. And my Super Bowl pick is now the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> is this that, is, well, this I believe This is not the Cowboys that I was talking about. <laughs> Christina, can we get? Thank you. <laughs> this Dallas Cowboy. That was a five this, I don't this, even know if you're actually. This is what I'm right. About. Are you really changing you know, your? No, I am changing your thought. It could have just been a joke. Uh, that was a long walk. But so, it much off. Yeah. so much to Go say. So much. Go ahead. I, I gotta be honest. This makes me feel tremendous. <laughs> and Nick, Why? Nick should be shaking, shivering in his boots. Why? Greg, you know I love you, uh -huh. and you are a football maestro, no doubt, on the field and in your analysis. But it's been a rough year for you. Uh -huh. Daniel Jones, top he, ten quarterback, Baltimore Ravens not making the playoffs, Denver chance to win the division. Might you, get to did the you Super understand? Bowl. I'm just I like, know. I know, <laughs> I know when to throw in the towel. I know when to throw in the towel. Throw the towel. You better, you better get off the bandwagon. The Cowboys going nowhere. Also, that sealed it. I really, I, you know, I was at the front of the line at mocking Greg's Daniel Jones top ten quarterback thing. But then I saw that meme everyone saw last week where it was comparing Daniel Jones to Trevor for the, the first 55 minutes. And I was like, you know what? Greg might have been on to something there. All right. Bro, may I? You I am adding. Robert Sala and Joe Douglas uh, to the bud list. Fellas, it's the scorpion and the frog. And spoiler alert, neither one of y'all are the scorpion. And we know how this <laughs> one's going to end. You've seen it all control. Up to and now including taking the rap for Aaron Rodgers being activated to the roster. You got, No, that was your guys' call. You guys are doing everything that this man has wanted for the last nine months. Guys, it's not going to go backwards. How do you think this offseason is going to go if you want to, you know, move on from Alan Lazard one year into his deal? You think you're going to be allowed to do that? Probably not. <laughs> what if you think that, you know, the 14 touchdowns you've had in 15 games from the Nat Hackett offense could use a little revitalization? Do you think you're going to have that opportunity? Of course not. In fact, what's more likely is you're going to get a FaceTime because we know phone calls don't work. Uh, and it's going to be Aaron saying, hey, I've got some offseason ideas for you. 
You want to trade for David Bakhtiari? We need an offensive line. I know he hasn't played in a couple of years. Devontae Adams seems unhappy. Well, that one seems you, good. Seems well, good. Exa- would be great. Well, yeah, in theory, except you have finite resources and you need five offensive linemen, at least four offensive linemen. And here's the worst part of it. Placating him is not going to earn you anything. Call it Brian Gutenkunst and see how long goodwill lasts if and when he needs someone to throw under the bus. And next year, when you have a 40-year-old quarterback playing like one, coming off a a blown Achilles and the team is struggling, you think in his weekly uh, therapy sessions with Pat McAfee, it's going to be a lot of introspection. Or the last time we heard him when his team was struggling and he told us, Oh, well, my coach told me that was my best graded out game of the year. You remember that? And so, listen, Joe, yeah, of course. Joe and Robert, good luck to you. You guys have made this bed, now you're going to have to lie in it. But you are certainly under duress now, and will be under much more so next year when the season starts to go awry and the guy you placated all year turns. Well said. And look, and, and, he is, I, you know, you guys know I picked him to make the playoffs with Rodgers. Yeah, this why year. don't you? Why don't you bring I, well, that up? Well, Rodgers, I thought I thought he was going to have too. a. <laughs> oh, I thought he was going to have a good year. Next year, he he will be two full years removed from playing good football. Yeah, like I, and not to Post mention to forty going on forty-one yeah. years old. I don't think he's going to have a great year of next course. year. So you're doing all this for a guy that's probably going to be a slightly above average yeah. quarterback. So I'm with you on that. I'm putting. Every celebration on the bud list. We are in prime time, kind of Gatorade bath I like this. season. And Brew, to steal a line from you, I'm old school. And then he said, I, 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 I'm tough, yeah. but I'm fair. Here's the thing, Gatorade, I'm still rolling with you. Everyone's trying to get on your corner. We'll go in order. The ice coffee bath, Scooter's Coffee Frisco Bowl, dump the coach with ice coffee with a special uh, ice coffee cup. The eggnog bath that we just saw, Lincoln Riley, I'm sure that'll be great for recruiting. Uh, <laughs> it just doesn't work. A West Virginia, Duke's Mayo bath. Again, that that's worse. a no for me. And then Georgia State coach Sean Elliott, the French fries, which looks delicious. Slash somewhat wasteful. So, <laughs> call me old school, bro. I just kind of want to go back to old Gatorade, yeah. no matter no matter the bowl. And I know it, that might be out of favor. That might be old fashioned. A uh, nice old Gatorade dump is refreshing. I'm so the eggnog you for your holidays. And the proof like that, that you are right is two of those had to be staged, right? He's yeah. sitting there waiting for them yeah. to dump it. Gatorade was just natural, yes. right? You could run away yeah, from it. It was yeah. a little cat and mouse nah, game. You're, you're now I got to sit there and get eggnog dumped on me. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.